where is the weirdest place you've ever fallen asleep? I only ask, because as I type this, I can hear my roommate snoring from his seat on the toilet. One step away from going full Elvis Presley. I silently dubbed him the king when I first heard him snoring. How old is he? Maybe you'll get to meet Forrest Gump. Ha he's about to be 30. Wow Tom Hanks looks terrible for his age. Nom does that to a fella. How he's only 30 and fought in Nam is something else entirely. On a tractor while plowing a field. I was doing night shifts during the summer and decided to get some extra hours in during the day so I was tired when doing my actual shift. I switched on the tractor's GPS and set it to give me a signal 50 meters before the field ended to wake me up to turn around. The fields were about 1200 meters long so I'd get about 10 minutes of sleep before having to turn around again. During a job interview. He actually had to shake me awake. Weirder yet, I still got the job. You were hired for that power move. Look them in the eyes while sleeping, and assert dominance. Run expected Gandalf. I think I missed that scene in LOTR. It was when Pippin yoinked the Palantir. He thought Gandalf was awake at first, but he just sleeps with his eyes open. Fool of a took. When I was a kid, like five or six, there was a tree in the front yard I really liked climbing. There was a branch perfectly shaped for little me to lie down on. Early one morning, I woke up and decided to take my sleeping bag up the tree and went back to sleep. Okay that sounds lovely. Homemade tree hammock. Thud. Well that just means you get even more sleep. Win-win but you couldn't wake up even if you wanted. Seems a little lame. In college, I took a cognitive neuroscience course that involved designed experiments to be carried out in an MRI and how to analyze the brain images afterwards. As part of the course, we all carried out our studies, and I volunteered to be a participant for a few. When I went to get in the MRI, the tech said I couldn't wear my sweatshirt and due to the metal near the aglets, so she got me a blanket to keep warm and to keep my head propped at the right angle, they gave me a stack of pillows. I definitely unintentionally ducked with someone's data by falling asleep mid-study. Ye live with a cognitive neuroscientist drives them crazy when this happens. Have to throw out the whole trial and time in and free is expensive AF. Edit, love to live but technically do that too. Tell them to think less like a scientist and more like an office worker. If you want people to stay awake for your meeting you load them up with free coffee and bagels or pretzels if you're in a pretzel city like Philly. But free coffee is key. I suppose if you want to study anything other than the effect of caffeine on the brain that could pose a problem. Yep can't be doing that because what if some people accept the coffee and some don't. Boom now caffeine intake is an extra confounding variable. The best solution is probably to consistently do it at like 11am or something so people are consistently awake. More likely to be awake. And ask them not to sleep. I fell asleep one time waiting before a medical procedure. They had to wake me up so that I could sign paperwork permitting them to put me to sleep. Oh the irony. Oh, I've done that too. Went into the university emergency room equivalent because I was so so sick, I thought it was mono. Nurse did her thing, I fell asleep on the examination table after she left. I fell asleep in the exam room and had a nice little nap. Turns out they forgot I was in there. I was in grad school and needed the sleep, tbh. This happened to me also in the ER, I went in for stomach pains, they forgot about me, I fell asleep and when I woke up it was around 9pm and the whole corridor was dark closed. Super scary. Apparently, they only keep one certain section open in the ER overnight. Plus side was that I wasn't charged. Sounds like a horror movie plot. Underneath the car while doing an oil change. This actually sounds kind of nice. Until someone gets in and starts the thing. To be fair, it won't be on long. At the dentist in the middle of drilling without any anesthesia. Woke up to dentist trying to tell me to open my mouth more. Edit. For those wondering why no anesthesia, I have very high pain tolerance and I dislike how local anesthesia feels. On a hedge at the end my road. 
Dad wasn't too pleased at driving past his pissed up son sleeping in a hedge on his way to work. On a hedge or in a hedge? Quite a difference. One is much funnier. Over the hedge. Bruce Willis Steve Carell William Shat Nirwanda Sykes Avril Lavina custom soundtrack beautifully written by Ben Folds a compelling story about family, friendship, and the unknown a well animated movie taking a hard look at consumerism? You bet your bottom dollar. One of the most underrated animated films I think. In the back of an ambulance. In the paramedic. Your ailment bores me. Wiz Khalifa concert everyone was so high. I fell asleep for a few minutes standing up the crowd was so thick I didn't even fall over. I slept through Metallica. I woke up for their last song or two. I was so bummed. Hashtag X200B, edit, for those asking how, when I get too drunk I don't puke. It just becomes sleepy time. Not sure if I should be mad at you for wasting a Metallica ticket or sympathetic to you because you missed a Metallica concert. I'm impressed they slept through Metallica. Bathroom floors, standing up, in the middle of eating. I have narcolepsy so I can see pretty much anywhere, not always by choice. I'm currently trying to not fall asleep in a hospital cafeteria and thought you meant all of those at once. What were you doing eating in a bathroom? I think I'm gonna take a nap on this table, since I obviously need it. Even worse, I imagined all three at once and didn't even question it. I think I need a nap as well. On someone else's wife's shoulder. I feel like there's a story there. I was 19 going somewhere in a bus, this woman in her late 20s sat beside me. I didn't know when I had started sleeping on her shoulders. Woke up to her giggles, kind of her to become my pillow. I had something similar happen. Was on a return flight for a work trip, and during the boarding process, the young woman next to me was at the tail end of a rough sounding phone call, finalizing a breakup. She apologized to me when she got off the phone, kind of brushing it off as, I got problems, as it was an emotional call. I shrugged it off, thinking she didn't need my judgment, and afterward laid my head against the window, and tried to force myself asleep. Within a few minutes, she kind of thumped into my shoulder. I thought about it for a second, figured maybe that's what this person needed in this exact moment, and rolled with it. She woke up at the destination, apologized and thanked me for not being awkward about it. That was nice of you. One night, for no particular reason, I was feeling extremely anxious. My mother-in-law offered me a Xanax. It was about 7 p.m. and a few days before Christmas. We were at her house doing the family thing. I took the Xanax and after about 15 minutes started feeling relatively calm. Not really thinking about it, I grabbed a beer from my father-in-law, who didn't know had taken a Xanax. Finished it, decided to have one more. I went outside to smoke and was lying across the hood of my car. In retrospect, I was already pretty out of it, I don't normally lay on cars. Anyway, I finished smoking and turned on my iPad and just started doodling while lying back, kind of propped up by the windshield. That's all I remember. The next thing I knew it was after midnight, my iPad was lying in the driveway, shattered, and my mother-in-law and wife were shaking me awake in a total panic. Apparently I straight passed out mid-sketch and dropped my iPad and just sat there in their front yard, fully unconscious, laying across my car. Don't drink if you take Xanax, kids. Was across town on a job with a few other guys. After we had finished they had a couple beers. I was under age still so past. One gives the guy a road with a couple Xanax and called him a pussy for only taking one. So the asshole took both right before we left. Stubborn ass would not hand over keys since he only had one beer. Scariest ride ever he wouldn't ducking stop but couldn't stay awake. Screamed at him for the 10 minutes he drove almost hitting rails and other cars. Finally got him to stop by offering to buy Jack in the Box. Fucker missed entrance and drove over the curve and through their rocks and bushes. In the drive through line at a stop I put truck in park and took the keys. Kicked his ass out the truck. Somehow he got to passenger side and got in. I got us some big cheeseburgers and headed back to the shop. Couple minutes into the drive I look over and the cheeseburger is in his lap missing one giant bite and his face is covered with ketchup and mustard while he snores. Had to drop him off at his house and lock his truck up at a vacant building near our shop we took care of. TL, doctor worked with assholes, life saved by cheeseburger. Wish my life could be saved by a cheeseburger.